Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name's Arcadian, the number one dumpster tier gamer, and we are back in for some Skyrim Legendary Survival Let's Play. If this is your first video that you're watching, please feel free to check out my other three videos. This is the fourth one in this series. Um, so you can look up Skyrim Legendary Survival Let's Play Episode 1. Uh, and you will start to see all of my videos th uh, full or throughout this series. Um, these videos are, uh, the first video kind of goes into the premise of the character, what we're going to be playing as. Second video is getting started with the um, Bleak Falls Barrow quest line and moving on through there. And then the third video we finally got up to High Hrothgar. So, with that being said, we are stepping into this video, and let's have some fun playing some Skyrim. At the end of the last video, we picked up ourselves our player home, which is Mirrorwatch here in Morthal, and we were going to head over to Ustengrav, and so that we can go ahead and start working on getting our, uh, getting the Horn of Jorgen wind collar. As you should with almost every Skyrim playthrough, you always want to start off, um, getting the majority of the main quests done, uh, the early main quests. You don't want to go too far with it. Uh, largely, you can ignore them. Um, however, if you want to um, unlock all of your capabilities early, uh, then you might as well just go ahead and get the early stuff done. We are here in Morthal, uh, over by the Mirror Watch. We're heading over to Ustengrav. Um, we do not have to worry about any creatures right now, because or any animals right now, uh, because we have the Voice of Sky ability, which makes it to where we will not uh, be attacked by mud crabs, spiders. Excuse me, sorry about that. However, uh, there are still are. That does not mean that there are not dangers that we have to be prepared for. So. Coming up here to Usengrav, we will have some uh, some bandits we'll have to fight, and a fairly strong wizard. Hey, you little mud crab! Hey, buddy! Make sure to take care of this wizard here. If you take her out, um, then all the other summons will just die. You don't have to worry about fighting them. All these guys just turn into dust or fall flat on their face. We are hungry. Get to that here in just a second. Make sure there's not anything else laying around here. Hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween. It's been a busy week, which is why this is the first video I've done since... Um, did I already get him? I think so. Yeah. Uh, so this will be the first video I've done since Sunday. Um, Halloween week is always extremely busy around us, as well as having... Having work, my, do my oldest daughter is in Girl Scouts, so dealing with all of that. So it's just an all-around, just very busy week. And since I'm working two jobs, it's just like, I, I do, I try to do this when I can. I, I enjoy doing this, but I don't make money off of this. 
Uh, so I try to make sure that everything else is set before I'd start playing and sh uh, playing and recording and doing all that. That being said, I still do play games during that time. It's just having the the time to devote to actually uh, recording what I'm playing is is a problem. All right, eat the apple dumpling. We're well fed. We can go in here. This is Ustengrav. This is the tomb of Jorgen Windcaller. Uh, so we are going to start working towards getting the horn. Lots of things to fight in here. Uh, you can go ahead and just uh, and fury one of these guys. Um, the only problem is is that we're high enough level now that I'm worried about whether or not we'll be able to get uh, a successful fury. So we're just gonna we do gotta be careful back inside here. There's gonna be one of these guys will hurt. That banded outlaw hurts. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that banded out outlaw hurts a lot. So let's try. Let's see if we can get a fury off. I think if we fury that one. Yep. There we go. Now they'll all start fighting her. Just a second. We got refury here. Fury on her helped a lot there. It helped whitt whittle down what was left so that we could handle it easier. Oh, so um, yeah, I'd like to say, or I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's been uh, supporting me uh, through this Let's Play. It's awesome to see you guys coming and enjoying my content. Uh, thank you for the comments too. The con the conversations going on is excellent. I love to see it. Um, keep them coming. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I try to answer all the comments if I can. Ooh, we got some we got some opportunities here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I try to answer any comments that I see and that I can. Uh, so feel free to join in and um, join in the conversation. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll do my best. We picked up the Apprentice Robes of Illusion. So the cultist robes that we're wearing right now, Magicka regenerates 75% faster. The Apprentice Robes have the same effect. The Magicka regenerates 75% faster, but they also have Illusion spells cost 15% less to cast. We don't necessarily need the 15% less to cast, 
but having it is actually really cool. So we're going to put those on instead of the um, instead of the cultist robes. The cultist robes fit the aesthetic better, um, but the apprentice robes are going to be better off for us in the long run. If they would have been like apprentice robes of destruction or apprentice robes of conjuration, we would have been in 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 an even better state. That would have been awesome. But we'll take what we can get. Let's heal up. Quick save, because we're about ready to ch to hop ourselves into a fairly large battle here. Um. Also, I want to get my shouts on my hotbar. There we go. There's a level up, so we'll have to try to see if we can find a good place to... taking all these all the the black robes and stuff like that just because they are a, a sale value the value is not much on them um, but it is something they are enchanted so they're they're at least worth selling a little bit okay so we've got lots of Draugr up here a heavy content oh, the heavy concentration of Draugr We'll just send this in. We'll send this right in the middle of them. The flame atronach is almost dead. We gotta be careful. Okay. Now with the flame atronach dead, we'll summon another one. Just because they'll go through Feindal's health pool very quickly. There we go. Nice heavy density of creatures. Lots of experience there. Uh, and I think we're going to go rest and get the level up real fast. Uh, before we continue on. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest and get the level up. Not 100% sure where we're going to put it yet, but... I'd rather have it and, and not need it as of right away than not have it at all. Did I get him? Yes, I did. I get distracted easy. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, so let's go upstairs real fast. Yes, it's a little chilly here. A quick nap here. Grab the perk point. Uh, we have a hundred points into Magicka now, so we can go ahead and um, start putting points into health. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do one hundred Magicka. For every one hundred Magicka, we're going to put two points into health. So. Let's see here. We don't want necromancy. We have nothing to do with that. Destruction is one point away. Alteration. You've got dual casting. We don't necessarily need it. One handed. Yep, armsman. Now we're at 27 damage. I think we were like 24 before. You don't have to hit these rooms yet because we're going to be coming back through here after the once we get through the end of the dungeon. 
However, if you want to go ahead and grab some of this stuff, I did not mean to grab that one. There's usually some chump loot and stuff in here that's worth taking. Probably anchored. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Let's give those right that. What do you want me to carry? Thing though. Vandal is getting very close to outstripping his usefulness for us. Uh, so it may not be in this video, but within probably the next couple videos, we will be trading him out. Um, so if we do trade him out this video, it will be for... Um, a wizard or for a uh, mage character that you can pick up over in Riften. Uh, we're not going to do that one because that is a, if I'm remembering correctly, that's either an alteration or a restoration skill book. Um, we don't want to put the, we don't want to do that just yet. We want to save those skill books for when, when we're at the last five levels. All right. <clears throat> come down here it's surprising how many people miss this uh, and I think that's just because they're not exploring properly but there's some chump loot down here and then if you hit the chain here you've got a secret doorway There's all kinds of secret passageways in these caves and stuff like that that I just feel like people miss a lot. Banded iron armor. If it wasn't for the fact that we were playing on legendary difficulty and I, and I worry about being over encumbered, um, over encumbered, I'd probably pick that stuff up and take it. Um, but on, on survival, it's just not worth it. He's just a regular Draugr. He's a Restless. Continue up through here, make sure to grab the potion. Hi, Raven. Raven has decided to grace me with her presence. So, more combat. Let's see if we can get him to focus on the Atronach. Dodge to the side. Now, if you are a archer character, 
you can start picking off these uh, skeletons and stuff right from up here. In fact, actually, got a bow and an arrow set here. I don't have any points in archery. But you can start picking these guys off right from here. And there's a bunch of skeletons back up in there, so you can just start picking them up, or picking them off if you've got the, if you've got the archery expertise. What do you want me to carry? Okay, let's take his studded armor since he doesn't need that anymore. Let's give him these and that. Now he's got a better bow. All right, trap. See these? That's a, that's an easy to recognize trap. It's a fire trap. It will hurt. We are actually very close to dying there from it. Got to be extra careful from those things. Ah, uh, you didn't see it. Now he sees it. He's coming right for me. Gotta be careful of those restless. Those restless draugers will absolutely wreck you if you're not paying attention. Uh, they are much stronger than they than they look. Uh, this is a good chance to quickly check out a, an enchanting table. If you've got stuff that you need to disenchant, um, hit these little things here and you'll be able to come in here and check out this arcane enchanter. some stuff to disenchant there. Perfect.
Oh no. Oh. I cannot believe I did not die there. Tried to avoid it. Uh, one question that I was asked a lot, um, obviously not on the comments, you guys can read that. Uh, but asked by my friends who are who are watching, uh, why do or why did I choose a Nord for the for the character? Because there are two races that are most useful in survival mode, uh, and those two races are the uh, Breton, which is an extremely tanky kind of magey character. Uh, which would have probably been the better option to use as far as uh, survivability. That because or that's because they come with an innate 25% magic resistance, uh, which is something that any character will struggle with, especially early on, um, our mage characters that they'll have to fight. So. Technically, yes, the uh, Breton would have been a better uh, character choice or better cl uh, race choice to choose simply for the sake of survivability. Uh, the other one that is uh, better for survival, the other race that is better for survival, is the Orc character. And that's because of their innate survivability. They... Um, they, uh, they don't get hungry or fatigued as quickly um, and so they they literally and then their berserker rage power making it to where they take half damage and deal double damage is extremely valuable and if I was playing if you if you guys checked out my other survival my survivalist build uh, which was literally just a, a survival let's play. I didn't have a, a specific thing. It was just a, a archer survival or survive off the land character. Uh, that was an orc character. Um, so the reason why I chose to go Nord was spe specifically for roleplay reasons. Um, the as far as we know, the, dra the all the dragon priests were Nords. Uh, so it just made sense. Uh, Shalador is is believed to have been a Nord. Uh, so as far as um, as far as character roleplay and progression, I felt that the Nord was the better of the options. And also, Nords are fairly decent at survival because of their cold resistance that allows them to be able to uh, stay warmer for longer. Oh god. Two-handed weapon guy, you definitely don't want to take one of those attacks. It will hurt. Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah, he probably could have one shot me if I was if if I if his damage roll would have been even moderate to high, he would have one shot me. So yeah, that's why that's why I went with a Nord character. It's specifically for role play, but Nords aren't bad when it comes to survival just because of their cold resistance. Uh, will help you get through the colder environments a little bit easier. It's not crazy so. Um, I think it's only a t plus 25 to their warmth. Yeah, because if you look, we're at currently at a warmth rating of 107. So if we take off all the things that we're wearing that gives us warmth. So we go boom, boom, boom. Boom. Warmth rating of 52. So yeah, we've got a 25 base warmth, and that just comes strictly from being a Nord. I guess we'll put on the amulet of Talos. Why not? There's another skeleton right up in here. Pillars. And then all that's left is these spiders and the fire traps. So let's quick save real fast. Just in case we die to a trap. I'm going to try to do my best to avoid them, but you can't avoid walking on all of them. There we go. Uh, you got to be careful blasting into there. Uh, just because there is a chance, and I don't see one, but there is a chance that there is a spider hiding behind the web. So you got to be careful because they can walk right through this web here. And if you blast it and accidentally injure a spider, then you lose your voice of sky. This is awesome. Grab the mysterious note saying they need to talk to you. They took the uh, Horn of Jorgen Windcaller. Go talk to them at the end at Riverwood. Grab all this chump loot here. Good thing we are going to an end because we're getting tired.
Apprentice Robes of Restoration. That's actually even better than running Illusion on us. Because we'll actually use Restoration more often. Well, we've got a second shameless plug here if you guys are enjoying the content please leave a like and subscribe um, quick and easy it's free just just help me out support the channel a little bit I do appreciate it uh, the channel has grown so much over the last month and it just it baffles me how many people are just like willing to watch me play a game uh, so it just I, I love it I, 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 I enjoy having you guys with me I enjoy you guys I enjoy the comments I enjoy you guys watching the, the content and liking it uh, and as long as you guys are enjoying it then I'll keep going because uh, I do this strictly for my own fun um, like I said before I've, I've got two I've got two jobs I work to work to support my family uh, if I could turn this into a job that would be awesome but that's not my goal here uh, my goal was just to play and have fun so I hope you guys enjoy that and, and respect that and, and a subscribe would really go a long way to helping to support me and support the channel alright so we're gonna go back to mirror watch here um, Yeah, let's go back to Mirror Watch real fast. Too deep into the water. Who's this guy? Courier. Trying to break into my house. All right, back home. So, what I want to do here any filled soul gems I want to make sure we put them in here empty soul gems can stay in my inventory that stuff hasn't grown back yet some ingredients there all right let's see here think there's anything in here that I really need at the moment ah uh, yes there is go over here to our potions cabinet take two poisons of paralysis take these Take that. Uh, 
gonna grab the Camus root. The imp stole, we'll just grab three of those. Nope, we'll grab four of those. Okay, this root I'm still and actually we'll also grab some of this death bell here. Alright, so we want Canis Root, Death Bell, Impstool. This is target is paralyzed for 5 seconds and causes 14 points of poison damage. Make up a couple of those. Death Bell, Impstool, and Swamp Fungal Pod should do the same thing. Um, oh, but it gives Restore 18 points of health. That's weird. That's fine. Uh, so, because we're going to be going back to Windhelm, um, before we head over to Ivarstead, um, I wanted to make sure, oh, I did not mean to eat those. I wanted to make sure that we went ahead and got, uh, all the paralysis poisons that we're going to use, uh, to help us get the Necromancer's Amulet. So let's sleep for four hours. It is early. Um, let's sleep for a little bit longer. Just to get at least a little bit of warmth in before we start heading back. How are we looking on gold? We've got 6,500 gold. Uh, we will drop these off real quick. We'll count these as enchantable. So, store that, 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 that. Okay. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, thank you. All right. So we will head back over here. Back to our horse. Where we're going now. Now we could grab the Swamp Fungal Pod down here. We will be back here to Morthal when we do our ingredients collection. Uh, so we will grab up a bunch of all these ingredients around here. We don't need it right now. All right, we got our horse. And we are first gonna run right through White Run. So we're gonna go uh, White Run. Riverwood, um, grab the Horn of Jorgen Windcaller, then we will go to Windhelm, uh, we might as well go ahead and knock out the Dragon at Kynes Grove, since we're going to be in Windhelm anyway, and then we will go to Ivarstead er, uh, High Hrothgar. Uh, that being said, where we're located right now, if we pass through these mountains right here, uh, we're going to pass through Labyrinthian, so I figure, you know, why not go ahead and check out our old base. See how it's held up in the time since um, we left it till we took over the, um, the Dragonborn. Do have to be careful about doing this. Uh, there are uh, some really nasty frost trolls that will absolutely wreck you if you're not careful. So we want to go through Labyrinthian, which is there's a dragon nearby. We got to be careful. He's up here. 
I wonder if we can take him on or not. Because this is a dragon, this is a dragon altar and a word wall. Gotta love the Skyrim mountain climb. A lot easier on a horse. Oh, there he is. And he is ready to fight. I don't know if we can take this guy on, but we're gonna give it a shot here. This is a bad position to fight him in, uh, just because where we are right now, uh, he can attack us extremely easily, we cannot attack him as easily. Uh, so let's see here, let's get, let's try to see if we can get up here. You want to get to a spot where there's enough room for him to kind of land down. There's Labyrinthian over there. Oh, we are outside of the battle range of him. Yeah, that's Labyrinthian right there. So it's actually farther over here than I thought. No, that's about right. It's just farther than I than I ended up going. Oh, he's still here. He is attacking. All right, so here's a little bit more of an open spot. We don't have Feindal to tank here, so we got to be careful. Let's grab our Atronach. Let's see what we can do. Not sure how well this will go. He's flying around the mountain. Oh, there he is. We can entice him to land to fight us. There we go, that's better. Oh, he's a frost one too, that's scary. So we're definitely going to use these trees to our advantage here. Ouchie. Yep. See? See? You gotta be careful. Owie. Lots of potions of healing. I did not grab the frost resist. Oh, we're still getting hit by that. That tree must not be thick enough. So basically, you want to use these. Ooh, Vandal's here. Cool. You want to use these trees. Oh, God. He landed right in front of us. You want to use these trees here to kind of block off the frost breath. We are out of magicka. like that. So we're using the tree to block the dragon's frost breath from us. Oh, and he just <laughs> one-shot us. That was unfortunate. I didn't let him engage into Fangdahl before I tried to move over and attack him. Ouchie, he got us. We're just not set up enough for a full-on dragon fight yet. For a non- I should say for a non-assisted dragon fight yet.
once we get farther, we will be ready. We will be able to like destroy this guy. At this point, I think that we are better off just switching over to our battle gear. Even though it's cold up here and we're going to have to deal with that, uh, at least with our battle gear, we are able to uh, get our Magicka regeneration going. has been taken down. Oh, he's coming to uh, coming to me. He sees me. Let's see here. Oh, gee. Yeah, we want to. Oh, the bear's fighting the dragon. That's cool. Uh, as long as the bear doesn't come over to me. No, it shouldn't, because I'm not... Let the, dra let the bear tank the dragon for me. Hit F5 here, quick save it. Now the dragon's focused on the bear. Oh, he's back to focused on me now. He went through so many potions here. Thanks for the help, Bear. So I had to use a couple cheesy methods, but we made it work. Uh, yeah, let's grab the word wall. Uh, change back into our warm gear. all that work we're at least going to come up and get the, the word of power I'm wondering this one should be stop time I think that's what this one is grab the nightshade while we're up here might as well elders blood Weapon disarm. Okay. Take the dwarven bow. Give that to Feindall. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Oops. Let's get going then. It's definitely better than what he had. Okay. Uh, and we have 
a Dragon Soul spend. So, if you learn words of power, for example, we just learned the first word of disarm. We also have become ethereal. Um, we got this from Ustengrav. You can spend Dragon Souls to learn or to to um, to activate those words of power. Uh, or to unlock them. So now with the Become Ethereal Shout, uh, we can cast the Become Ethereal and be able to, like, not take damage for a few seconds. Uh, so it's really nice. For example, let's say we were needing to jump off a hill or something. We can jump off, not take any damage after we've casted the Shout. Wait a couple, uh, wait a, like 30 seconds for the shout cooldown to finish, and then uh, we can do it again or whatever. This will help us a lot. This also helps us to take care of a uh, quest line for our future companion, Jazargo. He's going to ask us to test out some scrolls that are a little finicky and they will the scrolls will try to kill you uh if you cast a scroll near an undead it causes an explosion and there's friendly fire on the explosion so they hurt uh, let's go here so we can safely drop down here uh so having uh this shout here will help keep you alive so that the scrolls don't accidentally kill you this here is Labyrinthian. I'm just trying to discover the location here. Uh, we could possibly, you know, let's run in real fast and grab the mask. We just got to be careful because there are frost trolls here and they will all come at us right away. See, they're, they're fairly close by. They will come. They're not friendlies. Uh, but we can come up over here. I think they can't follow us in here. They might be able to. Um, yep, they're able to. Okay, I think we're okay. We just want to grab this wooden mask here. Uh, I'll show you what this wooden mask does. So, um, the wooden mask hums with an unfamiliar energy. Grab this note here, hired thugs missive. It seemed like an easy enough job. Graws and me done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wants bodyguards for a trip into the mountains. Fine, easy, clink for, er, sorry, fine, easy clink for us. He goes on about this twice forsaken mask of his the whole way. Of course, got a pretty good laugh when Graws snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Not smart out here on your own. He realized that right fast and shut up without about not paying. So we get here. He thumbs through some papers and mutters to himself, Never you mind that me and Graz had to cut through ten stinking trolls just to get him here, and without so much of a warning as war or as so much as a warning uh, or, or yeah, without so much as a warning, poof, he just put on the mask and vanishes. Could have put my hands on his throat one moment, the next he's not so much as a th not so much as thin air. Well, after a while, we didn't know what to do, and Gross picks her gear up to head home, when he poofs back. That mask in his hands, begs us not to leave, says he needs us to wait. This is what he's paying us for. Then puts the mask back on his sorry face, and he's gone again. I'd seen cloaks do invisibility before, but a few swings of my fist, swings of my fist proven he wasn't pulling that one. Nothing there to hit. He shows up again, tells us he just needs more time, has to figure out something about other masks, and vanishes again. That was yesterday, and I'm done with twindling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving come sunrise, and if he shows up again, I promise Azura I'm putting this dagger through his chest to keep him in one place. We'll pull more loot off of him dead than he could have paid alive. But not the mask. That cursed thing can stay in rot with him and the trolls right here. So basically, they kill him. Um, you can grab the Orcish Dagger if you want, but um, this wooden mask here, you put this mask on, and it teleports you back in time into what this chamber was before um, the test of time. Now these, from what I understand, these are all safe chests. 
So this is a good place to add in for safe storage. But the main thing that we're looking for here is this. This is the Shrine to the Dragon Priests. Uh, so, in my theory of the story, after the Dragon Priests knocked or took out Konarik, they realized that none of them had the power to uh, take over his spot. And so, they decided to instead um, use their Dragon Priests, use their eight Dragon Priest masks to lock away his mask and so therefore preventing him from coming back to power so as we collect dragon priest masks the ones that we're not going to use until we have all eight are going to go on these busts because once you put them on here you can't take them off until after you've gotten the chronoric mask so this is where we're going to store the Dragon Priest masks until we get Konrik. Once we get Konrik, then we'll take all of those masks off and then take them back to our house and store them there. But to enter this zone, you have to be wearing this wooden mask. You take off the wooden mask and then you are back into the real world. So... Just a quick explanation, that's why we ran by, or ran here real quick. Uh, now we want to get away before this frost troll kills us. Let's summon a Atronach real fast just to kind of hold them off. And then let's get out of here. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go through the other way. We could fight all the dragon or er, all the frost trolls if we wanted to. I'm not worried about that. I'll just summon a conjured aid Trinoc, let him let them let him deal with them for the time being and then we can just run through. We need to go south though. Fandel's trying to fight them. It's not worth it. We will have to come back here eventually. Um for multiple reasons, actually. Um, actually, we can do the test. While we're here, do we think we can win? Okay, so the question is, do we think we can win? There's, we're gonna, if we do this, we're gonna have to fight some Daedra. Uh, we've got enough. You know what? Let's try it. Shalador's Maze. It's interesting. Alright, so Shalador's Maze. This was a test of Shalador. Uh, this test is to prove that you have the uh, capability, you have the wherewithal to become the next Archmage. Uh, so you have to kind of do this test, um, or you're supposed to do this test to be, to be proven viable for the next Archmage. Let's go ahead and warm up here. So the question with this is, I know I can get through the test part. Like, that part's easy. Um, it's just a, it's a small puzzle, but, I mean, it's very easy to do. But the question is, at the end of that, you have to fight a... Um, you have to fight a uh, Dramora. And I don't know if we're going to be able to do that part of it. Uh, Fangdoll's not with us, so it's just us doing this. 
you can grab the note. It just says, enter twice, exit only once. Alteration will lead you to destruction. Only illusion shows a way to restoration. Conjure not, but be conjured instead. Um, and then if you aren't a mage character and you don't really have good, like you don't really have a, a plethora of spells to utilize, pick up those staffs. Those staffs will count and will work. Um, lots of ingredients in here, lots of hanging moss. Hanging moss is one of the ingredients that we're going to need a bunch of. Same with dragon's tongue, blue mountain flower. We don't need the red mountain flower, but we might as well grab it while we're here. Okay, so we enter first. So right here, to get through this portion right here, we need a alteration spell. Um, now, if you know an alteration spell like Candlelight or Mage Light, or I think Candlelight has to be the one, uh, an alteration spell that you can cast towards others, because if you look, I can cast Oak Flesh. Doesn't do anything. It's not going to let me in. Uh, so, thankfully, since we picked up this one, we can go Mage Light. You have to be able to cast an alteration spell that hits the sigil. And then that will allow you to walk through. You can open these up and grab the stuff that's inside. Sometimes they're, it's stuff that sometimes is useful. Um, careful, there is monsters that you will have to fight in here. Sounds like we got some skeevers hanging around. There is a word wall on the other side. <laughs> I'm going to just go through this maze here. And then a destruction panel. Drop down. Okay, I think there's a fight here, if I'm not mistaken. Conjure not, but be conjured instead. That's the other way that you drop in. Come through here. Work your way up. And you're out. At the halfway point. Alright, go ahead and grab this word wall here. And enter through the illusion side. We know Fury, so we can just cast that at the wall. Uh, let's see here. Weapons. Let's look at this one. Yeah.
We're cold and we're hungry. Oh god. That's scary. Ice wraiths. Holy shnikes. These guys will wreck us. So you want to be extremely careful here. Ice rays are extremely dangerous. These guys are very scary. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. I knew what that was. I didn't mean to pick that up. Some of these actually do have uh, soul gems, so sometimes it's worth checking these out. Uh, heal other, that's a good spell to have. So spell tomes, soul gems. It's up to you to decide if you want to check out what each one is. Some of them just have like bloody rags and crud like that, so... Alright, restoration... Doesn't count that one. Huh. Okay. Get ready. So we go in here, the trial of conjuration. Oh, we. I didn't know if we were going to be able to fight him or not. Oh no, I can't summon here. So it, it has to be a fight from me. I do not have the necessary... How do I fight this? What's the best way to fight this? <laughs> Owie. Okay. Okay, so let's get our battle gear on. Let's get Brown Sword Oak Flesh going. Okay. Wonder if we can hit him with a par paralysis poison. Oh, I can't summon. Oh, yes, I can. I was about to say, can I not summon a bound sword? Grab that. Let's use a weak one first because it's a, the weakest of the ones we've got. 
He does get po he, Okay, that's good. That's good to know. And then now we can fight him in here. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, thank goodness we do have some Magicka potions. We do not want to head on fight this guy. Like that. We don't want to do that. That's what we don't want to do. We are... We are slow moving here, guys. Another paralysis. Hey, we won. And got the diadem of savant. Yes. That's the thing the major thing that we wanted. Okay. Now we have to come over here and fight these flame antronachs. Let's hit the F5. So, apparel. Uh, Diadem of the Savant. Spells in all schools cast, cost less Magicka to cast. I think it only comes out to like three Magicka. Uh, but it's still beneficial. Oh, we got too close. So this makes it, you pair this with your Archmage robes, and you make it to where spells, um, all spells are, um, all spells are 18% less to cast. That's one down. Nope, that's one of mine. That was mine down. Owie. Ah, uh, and I just walked into that one. nothing to him. Okay. That one's down. That one's down. Assaults. There we go. So yeah, Diadem of the Savant, very cool. Um, I do think that it's a little underpowered for what for what it takes to get it. Uh, I feel like three percent is not enough. Uh, and there are uh, mods out there that. Uh, up it a little bit and make it to where it's like at least 5% or whatever, 10%, uh, to make it more of a valuable item. 
Uh, that being said, we will take it, we will use it. Um, at this point, it's better than the Novice Hood. Uh, 3% Magicka reduction. Let's see, let's double check to make sure that's correct. Should show up on here. It is not showing up on here. Did I not put it on? Well, it's because I didn't put it on. Okay, so this is, it's actually 5%, not 3%. Uh, so the, um, the mod must make it like 10% or something like that. Uh, either way, very valuable. Um, you mix, you match these with the Archmage robes. All of your Magicka casting is, or all of your, or all your schools of Magicka are, uh, the cost is reduced by 20%, uh, which is pretty phenomenal. Alright, we are tired, we are hungry, and, or no, we're no longer hungry, we are tired and we are cold. I think I got all the... Uh, hanging moss that was hanging around so we will get warm real fast We are warm. Okay. So we used up a lot of potions, but we managed to make it through, which is what I needed. I was worried I was worried we wouldn't make it through, and we managed it, so that's good. Alright, so now we continue heading south. Another frost troll. Summon this guy to take care of him. Grab his attention. As we run past. There is a another dragon shrine up there. Oh, yeah. So there's a dragon shrine up there we could go to, but I'm not worried about it at the moment. We will be collecting all the words of power eventually. Oh, that scared me. I did not even see him anywhere. Punk. All right. Mammoths, just give them a wide berth. They won't attack you as long as you don't aggro onto them. They might not like the fact that you have a summoned Atronach. These ones are not gianted. Uh, so the way that you tell if a mammoth is under control of a giant is if there is carvings in their tusks. So since there's no carvings in their tusks, they're not gianted. I did not. I, I don't remember injuring a animal. Oh, you know what? I did. I entered the skeevers in the, uh... I entered the skeevers in the, uh, in the test, which is why I lost my voice of sky. Grab the lavender. It's far enough out of the way of where we would be collecting that we wouldn't get to it, so we'll go ahead and grab these ones as we go back. They 
great. See how they have carvings in their tusks? These mammoths have a giant uh, caretaker. So if they have carvings in their tusk like that, that means that they've got a giant caretaker. Uh, you attack those mammoths, the giants will get past. You attack the giants, the mammoths will get past. Uh, if we are able to grab this chest here. Okay, he's focused on the Atronach. It's an expert chest, but these giant chests usually have some pretty good loot in them. Gotta find the, gotta find the point though. There we go. Oh, Meridius Beacon. We will grab this, but not now. Because Shalador will actually collect all of the, um, all the Daedric artifacts, uh, because he's going to take, he's going to take whatever, whatever option he can besides vampirism and necromancy to try to defeat Alduin, the vampires, and um, uh, Merrick. So, his only, like, his only thing is that he won't, he doesn't want to kill innocents. He will if he has to, but he doesn't want to. And, um, but he is completely fine with, with collecting the, uh, the Daedric artifacts an attempt to gather the power needed to fight Alduin. Which is why he will take the he will take the the lycanthropy, but he will heal it uh, from himself once he realizes that, that that the drawbacks of the lycanthropy is not going to help him in the long run. Okay, so we are here at Whiterun. Uh, now we can make our way over. Let's actually rest first. Let's jump in here. We'll sell off a few things. Just about everybody in here. Everything's for sale. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. We'll keep the staffs. Sell the cultist robes because we've got another set back at home. Keep the novice hood. Keep the dragon bones. We'll take those back home. All right. It's everything that we can sell him. Over here to Arcadia. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler. What do you need, my friend? Take a look. Uh tempted to restock some health potions. But we'll just go ahead and sell her. Come back 
Sell her those. Grab a quick, cheap nap. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yes. Just let me know. All right. Point into health. And into destruction dual casting. Feeling refreshed. Let's get through. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep till morning. There we go. Now we got well rested. I work for Bellator. We are hungry. of the great clan battle ball. and now we can go to Riverwood now I did leave my horse up there at um, uh, up there near labyrinthian it should be fine once we use the um, the carriage to travel to Windhelm then we should be able to it should bring our horse back to us because we will need him once we go up to winterhold. Uh, we will definitely need him, and actually we'll need him uh, from Windhelm to Ivarstead. We are coming up soon uh, to make that, when we make that trip up to Windhelm, before, we may not do that this video, so I will... Because I'm trying to decide... Um, there's a few things we want to do. When we go up to Windhelm, uh, obviously we want to get the Necromancer's Amulet. That's the main reason that we're going to be up there. But we are also, as a side piece, we're going to talk to this guy named Sadri um, and get our speech up to level 50. The reason why we want to do that is because there is a perk called the Merchant Perk in the speech, skills, uh, speech skill tree. It costs three perks points to get to this merchant perk, but this it says you can sell any type of item to any type of merchant. The reason why we want to do this is because to get our enchanting uh, as high a level as we can and to be as valuable as we can, we want to be able to sell uh, enchanted items to the mages at Winterhold. And then use the funds that we have from those enchanted items to buy more soul gems off of them. Uh, so that's the reason it basically sets up a business loop between uh, or, or right here in Winterhold, where we're able to get a whole bunch of uh, soul gems, take them somewhere, get them filled up as we go through our travels, and then use those in, uh, soul gems to enchant uh, gear to give back or to sell back to these guys. Um, so to be able to do all of that, you have to have your merchant skill or your speechcraft skill up to level 50. Uh, to do that, you got to have something to sell to Sadri to pay for the training. There's technically two different ways to do it. There's the way that you sell sell things to Sadri to pay for the training, or uh, you can just pickpocket the training after each time uh, and get the money back. However, if you do the pickpocket method, uh, it, do, it does feel kind of glitchy. It does feel kind of um, uh, exploity, uh, which is a reason why I won't be doing that method. So we got to have stuff to be able to sell Sadri. And to do that, we need to collect a bunch of ingredients. So we will be starting basically down here at Falkreath and we will travel up through here come all the way up here to Riverwood gather the ingredients around like gather the ingredients that we see as we go through mainly focusing on uh, blue 
blue mountain flower in this area. And if we see any lavender or anything like that or more tapenalia, we'll grab that too. So blue mountain flower and more tapenalia is in this area right here. Then as we pass through Riverwood, we're uh, over here towards White Run, we are going to grab more tapenalia, blue mountain flower, and lavender. Uh, and then as we come kind of go off in this direction, it'll be a lot of lavender. As we go up here into this direction, it'll be a lot of lavender, and off in this direction, it'll be a lot of lavender. Uh, Blue Mountain Flower as well. And then, once we have those collected, then we're going to need Fly Amanita. Fly Amanita you get at Amber Shard Mine, and there is a mine over here in Kynes Grove, which, guess what? We're going to be going to Kynes Grove anyway. So we will be picking up the, the uh, Fly and Manita from these two areas, as well as the Dragon's Tongue, which is all in this area right here, uh, so that we can make some Dragon's Tongue, more Tapinalia, and Fly and Manita potions. Those two potions should cover us enough, or we should get enough ingredients um, lavender, hanging moss, and blue mountain flower, and fly manita, mora tapinalia, and uh, dragon's tongue should give us enough uh, funds to get our speech up to level um, 50. Uh, as for hanging moss, because I've talked about uh, blue mountain flower, I've talked about lavender, but where do you get the hanging moss? There's two different areas that you can look towards to getting to hanging moss. If you want to start the com uh, the companions quest line, they will take you to a cave right over here, or, or a tomb right over here, uh, where there is a bunch of hanging moss in it. Uh, however, if you don't want to start the companions quest line yet, which we don't, uh, then if you go up to Solitude, in the Hall of the Dead here in Solitude, there is like right around 80 hanging moss that you can take. Now, they're all marked as steel. However, I don't think that the skeletons inside of the tomb are going to send any hired thugs after you. Um, so, if you grab all of the hanging moss in there, that will give you enough hanging moss to make a, uh, a decent amount of lavender hanging moss and blue mountain flower potions. And between those two potions and the mass ton of ingredients that you can pick up for them, uh, you should be able to get your speechcraft up to level 50 very, very easily. And that's without putting any perks into uh, potions at all, into alchemy at all. Uh, so you guys let me know in the comments, do you want to see me go about doing all of that, uh, collecting all those ingredients? Or do you want me to attempt to time lapse it? Uh, just fair warning, I don't have a whole lot of, uh, like the time lapsing, I don't have a whole lot of resources uh, to be able to make it look proper, but I can do a, a basic time lapse video. So you let me know if that's something that you are looking forward to that you guys want to see me do. I'm the innkeeper. Attic room. Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. All right, grab in here. We'll grab another two hours of Z's just to refresh that while rested. She's going to come in and say, you're the one we're looking for. Huh. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. I am not a big fan of Delphine's character, to be honest. I think that tends to be the consensus, is most people, she can't get over her own prejudices. So most people are just like, eh, she's not all that great. That being said, she has lots of stuff in here. We'll take it all. Oh, darn. You're the dragonborn. I hope they're right. 
surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my nope. harmless innkeeper act. You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. It was the only way I could make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Like I said in my notes, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Yes, that's how I first Good. learned I was dragon. You have dragonborn. a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> Hinging it all on whether or not we can kill a dragon or not. Pines Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute, and I'll be ready. Okay, all of this stuff is free to take. Might as well take it. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesville. This is the first opportunity that you get to get one of the cooler weapons. Um, this is the Blades Sword. This is probably one of the cooler weapons uh, that you can get in Skyrim. Uh, at 21 damage, it's actually fairly strong. Uh, not as strong as our bound sword. However, I am thinking about grabbing it and taking it and having and having it as a backup in case we don't have any mana left over. Also, while we're in here, we can disenchant the steel great sword of soul snow of soul snares. English. Use it. Uh that's everything here. I did forget to sell the rest of the gear off that I wanted to sell off. Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. All right. What? Take a look. Keep the wooden mask. Just kind of looking through to see what he has. If he had the um, the steel gauntlets, I might have picked those up. The Nordic steel gauntlets. It means so much to us to have the claw back Thank where you. it belongs. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Hmm. Those are tempting. All right, then. Oh, well, we can sell him. You and me. Actually, I think we're going to hold Go off time. on selling pretty much anything else. Just because we want to collect a bunch of ingredients and having extra stuff to sell to Sadri is never a bad thing. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, but first we'd have to, we're going to have to go back to White Run, travel back to Morthal using the cart, uh, drop off the Dragon Bones, drop off anything that's not necessary for what we're planning on doing in the next video, and then that's where we'll stop. Um, so basically what's going to be necessary for the next video is all the fur gear, um, our battle suit, as well as uh, the backpack. So we don't need these four staffs. We don't need the um, the dragon bones. We don't need anything that anything that's going to increase our weight and make it hard for us to carry ingredients. Um, we don't need. So we are going to head over in this direction first. I, I, I think the next or the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my ingredient collection um, unfortunately this video I mean we're still at an hour and 47 minutes so we're, we're still running right around that two hour time frame um, so we'll we'll go over to Morthal we'll clear out our gear uh, and then um, we'll pick back up uh, the video or pick back up on the next video uh, for the collection and I'll, I'll, I'll probably do that time lapse let me know if you guys want to see that if you don't if you don't need to see that then just let me know in the description or in the comments uh, and I can just do that off camera it's it's whatever you guys want uh, so let's go back to Morthal Alright, cold and hungry. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. I didn't I haven't gotten re-gotten the voice of sky yet so this chorus is going to be angry F5 this. There we go. Grab the chin tin. should be well fed. Okay. Oh, they did come back up. Cool. All right, all these empty soul gems.
let's also collect all the stuff in here. Because it's annoying me that there's a bunch of random stuff sitting out. So first of all, grab these imp stole and canis root. Let me grab it, please. Should be available to grab. Maybe that one's already been grabbed. Swamp fungal pods. The glowy mushroom. Nightshade. Nightshade. Could have swore there was a second glowing mushroom in here somewhere. Oh yeah, it is right behind it. There we go. Okay. Soul gems. I'm not worried about the soul fragments. They don't really do anything. But the the soul gems themselves will take. Silver necklace will take. Chanter's Potion. Don't think any of these are filled. Oh, a couple of them are filled. Alright, so that cleans that up. And here is just mainly grabbing these heart stones. silver ore, put the heart stones in the strong box, I did not mean to grab that hammer, alright put those in map sack grab the hanging moss here hanging moss here grab the iron and the leather there from behind at the grass bait jazz bait grapes that was a bellows not a leather leathers over there that's fine that can stay Potions, ingredients.
going to put these all in here for now. Um, we'll come back here and grab what we need once we're finished. Same goes for the potions. Put all of them in here for now. stuff all right uh, real fast we'll make sure that we got all the hanging moss and all everything from up here Downstairs. Make sure we got it all from up here or down here. This is the other reason why I chose uh, Mirror Watch as our location for rest or for our uh, for our house is because of all the uh, or the full amount of hanging moss that is here is not anything to laugh at. It's very helpful uh, for this particular reason. Uh, so 17 hanging moss off of that, plus I believe we already have 11 in here, so that's 28. Throw in the hanging moss that you can get in solitude, and you've got about a hundred hanging moss. So now you just got to get a uh, hundred blue mountain flower and a hundred lavender. Oh, we've got 45 hanging moss, so we're, uh, yeah, we're more than ready for that. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff that's in here clusters juniper we already grab that scaly falona giant lichen jazz bay okay so we got a decent amount of ingredients we can do so much better than that All right, so let's see here. How are our, we're at 50 carry weight. That's perfect. That's decent enough that we will be able to do what we need to do. Um, I could probably drop off a little, a few other things. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we can put this stuff into the desk over here. Okay. So yeah, 
we are set and about ready. So, uh, in the next video, like I said, um, if you guys want, just let me know in the comments if you want to see the, um, the time lapse of me gathering up all the ingredients. I've kind of already went through the route with you. Uh, but yeah, basically that's what the goal is, is to hit all of those ingredient areas. Um, once I hit everything over here, then I will be going over to Kynes Grove. Uh, we'll be hitting everything over there, uh, and then we'll take on the dragon, and then go from there to collect all of our stuff back at Morthal. Uh, and then head back over to Windhelm so that we can get all of, uh, or get our speech up to level 50. <laughs> any extra ingredients or any extra potions that we have after our speech is level 50, we will put towards buying uh, soul gems from the vendors up here, or from the, um, the mages up here at Winterhold. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Help support me and the channel. Uh, and we will see you again on the next one.